Hello viewer, welcome to the Science Hub. I am Vincent Ngatis and my colleague here, Ian Wendo. Today we are going to discuss the topic of gradients and equation of straight lines. When we talk of gradient, what do you understand? The gradient is the ratio of the vertical height to the to the uh, to the horizontal, horizontal length. For example, when you are given a triangle here. This is the triangle A, B, Z. When you have given this triangle, take, take for example the height is 5 cm, base is 3 cm, and maybe this hypotenuse to be, uh, to be 6 cm. Here, when we talk about um, gradient, as we have said, the gradient, the gradient is the ratio of the vertical distance to the ratio of the horizontal distance. We take the vertical distance that is a 5 all over the length of the horizontal distance that is 3. So the gradient is 5 to 3. That is the ratio of the, that is now the gradient of the line. You can, you can give this one in form of points or we, you can leave it uh, to be in form of a fraction. That's so 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 here you can check this to be this at, at this point to be B this point to be F. So, you viewer, you should note that gradient in a straight line is uniform. So, here, the gradient of C to F is the same as gradient of F to D and the same as the gradient of D to A. <coughs> Uh, you should also learn. Sometimes you can give, you can be given. Maybe for example, there, there for example, there is a um, a ladder that is leaning on the wall. You can you can be given the length of the ladder. Maybe for, take for example to be three meters high. Let's let's see how the ladder is. This is the wall, and I I'm sure all the walls are right angles. This is the ladder leaning on the wall. This is the ladder leaning on the wall. Maybe you are told that um, a ladder is leaning on a wall of 3 meters high. This is a ladder. This is the wall. And this is the ladder. The, the wall is 3 meters high. And then you are told the distance, the distance from the feet, this is the feet of the wall, from where the ladder is, is touching the ground, is uh, maybe you have given to be 2 meters. Then you are asked, to find the gradient of this ladder. It means, uh, maybe you are, you are asked to find the length of this ladder. The way you find the gradient of this one is, gradient is equal to vertical distance all over horizontal, or all over horizontal distance. Vertical distance you have to be three meters. So it will be three, three meters all over the horizontal distance that is two meters. Three divided by two, you will get the gradient of this a ladder to be 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. So now we got the, the gradients and the equation of line in the Cartesian coordinate system. So in the Cartesian, in the Cartesian coordinate system, the gradients is equals to change in y over change in x. Here, the word change can be replaced by the symbol like a triangle. So, the gradient will be changing y over changing x. So, suppose, for example, suppose to have given the gradient of a line. 
the greeting of our life. So for example, if you are given, if you are told to find the grid of a straight line passing through, through the points P is two, three, two, and Q is four, five. So here we say gradient is equal to changing y over changing x. So here we identify the y coordinate and x at x. So the y coordinates coordinate is two minus four and x coordinates. is 3 minus 5 so we find the difference here that is negative 2 here 3 so we use this formula so negative 2 over 3 that is the result <coughs> uh, from all what we have discussed here we can we have to know that um, uh, from what we have what we have learned here we can learn that an increase in x coordinates, an increase in x coordinates, and uh, at the same time an increase in uh, y coordinates, it will lead to a positive gradient. And in, uh, from what we have discussed here, we have to know that, for example, an increase in x coordinates and leads to corresponding increase in y coordinates. This is called a positive gradient. For example, maybe you are you are given in a triangle like this. In a Cartesian bell like this. In a Cartesian bell like this one. For a positive gradient, whereby there is a corresponding increase and in increase in x axis. And also a corresponding increase in y axis. This is the gradient. This is the, uh, the gradient. The line must be going in this direction, whereby there is a corresponding increase in y axis and at the same time corresponding in increase in x axis. Also, you are not when x code x coordinates leads to decrease in a y coordinate value of y coordinates the the gradient is negative for example line that is moving downwards from left left to right its gradient is negative this one leads to positive gradient and this one leads to negative gradient So when uh, we can also find gradient of our lines when we are given two points. For example, maybe you, you can be given you can be given that there is a line passing through point A and point A the coordinates of point A is two three and also passing through point B. Uh, maybe the coordinates of point B are four and six. Now when we are finding the gradient. We have been told that when finding gradient, we find gradient is equal to changing y axis coordinates all over change in x coordinates. Here we have this is a x coordinate and this one is y. This one is x and this is y. Now when we are finding the gradient, we take 6 minus 3. 36 minus 6 minus 3 all over 4 minus 2. So the gradient will be 6 minus 3, it will be 3. And then 4 minus 2 will, will get 2. So the gradient of the line when we are given side points, 2 points, that's point A, that's 2, 3, and point B, 4, 6, we get the gradient to be uh, 3 all over 2.
Another example. Suppose you are given an For example, we're given point P is 2 is to 3 and point Q is 2 is to 1 to find the grade. So the grade is changing y over changing x. So the y coordinates this. So this is, this is what x coordinates is y coordinates is x coordinates is x. You can let this be y and no. So sorry. X one is y one is x one is y one. So sorry. This x two y two. So in the y coordinates we check. 3 minus 1 and in the x coordinate coordinates you take 2 minus 2 so here the difference is 2 sorry here the difference is 2 and here the difference is 0 so the grade is equal to 2 over 0. Here the grade is 0. When the grade is 0, this means in the Cartesian plane, the line is on is going on horizontally. So the gradient is infinite. Up to then we have come to the end of our discussion. Keep uh, keep it a limit TV where we watch and learn. I Vincent Gentis and my colleague here Ian Mwendo.